Yo de ho. Alrighty. I've got two of the Rough Rider High Plains here. Uh, we have the shoot <laughs> the large toothpick and the I guess this would be the large the full size uh, trapper. Now this is bone with ridges made to look like the Great Plains and Plateaus or like some people say the topographical map. Now this trapper is in another video because when I got it I didn't expect it to be so nice so I ordered it again. Pinched bolsters. This is just, oh I got dirty nails. This is just a trapper like I said. See, it's got the R on the bolster. Oh, fingerprint. Very handsome piece. Now, this one is flawless. The trapper actually came flawless. With your spay and your. Uh, clip. This is sharp as hell, I can tell you that. And then uh, I went and got the toothpick because I liked it so much. I got it. It was so nice, I got it twice. Ooh, we got some light action. Ooh. They're not brand new, so if you see a little this and that, you know, I've been messing around with them. Now this one, There's a tiny bit of uh, gapping. And you can hardly tell. It does have some gapping, but, but I mean, you can see it better there. But hardly. Half stop. This is a big one. Fingerprints. Now, this ain't a fighting blade, but uh, you know it's pretty cool. Rough Rider. Now, in the pictures online, uh, let me see. This is which is a good example. I think this is a, side is a good example. This is what you see. Brown handle with ridges <laughs> now, that's fine I, that, you know with that picture I bought it because I liked it but what you get well obviously you know but this is this is bone so you get all kinds of different variations this one it's not as deeply colored and you can see a little bit of the white bone now that might be some might say well it's a piss poor job of dying but uh, uh, I kind of like to see that there's some actual bone material. See, look at this one. I think is beautiful. She got the bone. You can see that it was a bone, and then it's colored here. Whereas the other side of this one is, I mean, to me that's just beautiful. So these are very nice. Let me wipe it. I should get one of those uh, cotton gloves. <laughs> so, oh, I should measure it, huh? So you could get an idea of how big these things are. All right. I have a, if you'll just indulge me for a moment. Let's do this. Let's get the box out of the way. We know what the box is. Ugh. Look at that. And four size. There you go, look at that. Blades on, you know, the 
metal part of the blade is four inches altogether it's nine inches long and this one altogether seven and a quarter inches long with the three inch blade now I'm counting all that too you know the metal part just because it's the metal of it so there you go I mean four inches you know doesn't look at it it's bigger than my hand let me give you a comparison I don't know if you're familiar with the cold steel code 4 now this is a serious work hard use duty knife guess I'm showing this one off too huh with S35 VN eh, there we go but to compare this in length at least about equal about equal now in uh, durability and uh, um, whatever overall use and effectiveness it does not compare obviously the code 4 with the triad lock and the uh, thick steel is going to be A lot tougher especially with the fancy steel but this is a very cool knife all right that's that so is this one they're very beautiful pieces I mean um, and especially for the price yeah you're not gonna get hard use hard work out of these they're very good deal you know, pocket knives just opening letters I've got the fan on oh, damn I hope that didn't make too much noise <laughs> sounds like I'm in uh, the bridge of the enterprise but anyway um, they're not gonna do much hard work opening letters opening Amazon boxes I mean <laughs> but they're very cool indeed you pull one of these out someone's gonna say ooh is that a case <laughs> anyway no it's not a case later.